Hi, welcome to Math Minute. My name is Adam. Today we're going to be talking about what is a function. So, we already know a lot about machines. So let's use this to talk about functions. Because really there's not much difference between a, a machine and a function. So I've drawn here a pencil machine. We take in wooden blocks, we put them into the machine, and then they're going to put out pencils. So let's look at a function the same way. We're going to put something into it, into the function, and we're going to get out an output value. So down here is a perfect example. We have these x values, we're going to plug them into our function, our function is going to act on it, and it's going to put out a y value. Very similar to here, our x value was wood blocks, and we got pencils out of it. So this is just a general case, and we're going to be using this idea to talk about functions in general. So I'm going to draw an example of a function. There's a few different ways that we can talk about functions. The first way is going to be known as a function map. Okay? And this is going to be our x values. This is going to be all the x values we have, similar to all the wooden blocks. And this is going to be the y values. Okay? So over here we can have something like 1, 2, and 3. And we'll map them to different numbers because in between here is our function. This is where the function is occurring. So we can say this is mapped to 4, 5, and 6. Okay? And we'll say 1 goes to 6, 2 goes to 4, and 3 goes to 5. Okay? So there's another way we can write these, and those are known as ordered pairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to group them in a fashion like this, with an x value and its corresponding y value. So for here, the x value was 1, and it was mapped to 6. So one of the points would be 1, 6. That's an ordered pair. Another one would be 2 and 4. 2 and 4. And another one would be 3 and 5. OK? So one other way we're going to do this is <clears throat> writing it in this form. And this is going to be the way that we're going to be used to seeing it from here on out, generally. Because what we're doing is we're plugging in this x value, 1, into this function, and we're getting out this y value. So f at 1 equals 6, or also known as f of 1. Similarly, f of 2 equals 4. And the last one, f of 3 equals 5. OK? We can also graph this. And this way is done like this. Let me switch sides. And if we were to mark these off, we have 1, 2, and 3. So these are our x values, 1, 2, 3. OK? And then we're going to mark down what y value they correspond with. So we have to go all the way up to 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And these are our y values. So what we're going to do is we're going to count over 1, and we're going to count up 6. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we put a point there. OK? Now for here, we're going to count over 2, and then up to 4. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. OK? And the last one, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK? So there's not really a pattern right now, and sometimes that happens. But we also have different functions and specific functions where there will be obvious patterns we can see. Now also what I want to talk about is what isn't a function. And there's a very specific test that we can do. So I'm going to use this same area. And let's just talk about <clears throat> a function map where we have one point here. Okay? And over here, we have two and three. So what we have is if one is mapped to two and one is also mapped to three, this is where we have a problem. Once again, these are our x values and these are our y values. So over here, our ordered pair is one, two, and we also have one, three. And that's a problem. Also, f at 1 equals 2, but f of 1 also equals 3. Now this is where graphically we can show there's a very specific test. So we're going to plot our ordered pairs, 1 and 2, and 1, 3. And as you notice, 
If we draw a line right here, we cross two points. That's where our problem is. And that's what we can call the vertical line test. If we ever have one x value, have two separate y values, like it splits here, then we know it's not a function. So that's why we have this vertical line test that can show us that. So this has been a quick overview of a function. Hopefully it's helped you, and we'll see you next time.